Yeah, there was a ghost in my room. We hear it from the backyard. I was freaking out. Hey, it's Kaylee. So today's video is going to be something a little different. I'm going to be sharing you guys a story that happened pretty recently where I thought there was a ghost in my room. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So, this actually happened June 8th, I believe, on a Wednesday, and it was like from 11.30 to 12.30, so like an hour. Basically, um, it was 11.30 when this all started, and I was just in my bed, of course, scrolling through Instagram pictures, tweeting some tweets on Twitter, and Snapchatting my friends, follow all my social media. And then all of a sudden, I hear this weird, like, giggling. Okay, it was like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get so made fun of for that. It sounded evil, and when it's late at night especially, my brain, I just, like, worry all the time. I'm very paranoid, so after hearing those giggles a few times, I was like, there's a ghost. I'm, like, the one person I knew who was awake was Ashley, so thought it was her because her room is like literally right next to mine. So I actually used my two legs, walked into her room, and I was like, are you laughing by any chance? And she was like, no, like what are you talking about? So I went back to my room and just watched some YouTube videos. Subscribe. <laughs> And then I just kept hearing it, kept ignoring it, but eventually it started to annoy me. So I actually texted Ashley, and I have the text messages still. At 11.43 p.m., did you just laugh or whatever that was? And then she instantly texted me back and said yes. So I was like, oh, phew, like, I'm okay. Um, and then it kept happening, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this needs to stop. So I texted her a few minutes later, and then I said, OMG, please stop. And then she replies and says, what? So then I said, oh, no. I didn't actually say that. I said, the obnoxious laugh thing you were doing. And she replied with, I'm not, it's probably my iPad. So then I said, oh, well, turn it down, please. And that was that conversation. No more texts. Sorry. Assuming it was her laugh or her iPad, I was very annoyed, but I just kept living. And then I heard Ashley going to the bathroom because my bedroom is very close to the bathroom so I could hear her like walking in there and shutting the door. And a few minutes later, she comes running into my room and says, did you just hear that? And I said, what? And she said, the laugh. So I replied with, yes, I did. Like, are you joking? Because she knew I was kind of worried. So I thought she was just like messing with me and wanted to get me more scared. But I could tell that she was kind of serious. And then she went as far as looking out my window because it looks to my backyard. So I was like, oh, she's not playing games. So after looking out the window for a few minutes, she looks at me and she's like, I think someone's in her backyard. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like help please, SOS. So then we decided, let's go downstairs, let's look in our kitchen, because we have a big sliding glass door that looks out to the backyard. So Ashley's looking out the window, like she's like this to the door, and I'm keeping my distance because I'm scared that something's gonna like pop out. Um, so then I look and I see the light switch, and I had this brilliant idea, light bulb. And I was like, should I turn on the lights? Because if we turned down those lights, it would shine the backyard and we'd be able to see. So she's like, yes, do it. I did it. I turned them on. And all of a sudden, the backyard just lights up and we see two girls on our trampoline. Wait. They literally had blankets. They were laying down. They had their phone. They were like giggling. And we were just inside like... What is going on? Seconds after turning on the light, they get up, they take their sweet old time, but they end up kind of rushing off the trampoline. And I was just like, what? I thought there was a ghost in my room, but turns out there were two girls having some fun on our trampoline at 12 o'clock at night. We're not the type of people to like care if people use our stuff as long as you're not damaging it, but the fact that they did it at 12 o'clock at night and they were being extremely loud, my mom could even hear them as she was sleeping. So that was just, if it was like two in the afternoon, I totally would have joined them. I would have made some friends. We would have had fun, but they decided to do it at night when they all thought we were sleeping. 
there's the completed story time. Sorry it was nothing like insane, but they have not been on our trampoline ever since. I think that's kind of funny. Okay, I probably sound so mean. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did and want more story times, then give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any crazy stories or something similar to my story that happened to you, then comment them down below. I'd love to read them all. Also, subscribe to this channel and my vlog channel. I upload lots of fun videos like this and beauty videos. And on my vlog channel, I plan to have a ton of fun summer vlogs. So, subscribe. Follow all of my social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I also lost my last baby tooth. Whee!